start movers for people to do. I was interesting. I was uh, running and I kind of feel the, maybe that there's Ladies some and some gentlemen, Pete, how are you doing today? Not, well, I'll take that. Thank you for joining us today. Keep your running. outfit looks quite. It says here. The beginning. Well, it doesn't say something. much. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Bus, this bus. is our one thousand. Contestant number one, please solve. Nah, I don't got it. Are you ready to solve, contestant number three? Oh, this might cut out in a second. Private Eye of the Storm. Oh, I just felt it. Are you ready to solve? Contestant number two. Well, so we'll see if this. Is, uh... Try again? No, I guess not. Nobody got it? <laughs> Maybe we can find an easier puzzle. Are we ready for another toss up? Your chance, or as it's called, you semite, natinol, sense in hanging around, around started with the first spin. That's it. That's the only maybe once or twice. A bunch of friends. And Do we have any of those? The bug looked like something no, out of a science something. fiction movie, like you know, cheesy. You know, the colors of this bug were like frightening. Just buzzing around in the car, and everybody Six, freaked out in the car, basically. Yes, we have some. But luckily, there was no balls. Or Great Just job. That's a couple quite a donuts. bit of cash in your pocket now. Glad to be alive. It's, yeah, it's funny, that's the first thing I think of. Think of you, 700. No, we don't see. Same name. Seven hundred. Will we get any help on this? Yes, we have some S's. Don't go and spend all that at once now. Let's get some vowels. You can certainly buy a vowel. Yes, we have some E. Uh-oh. Barely got it. 600. Yes, we have some R's. Okay, there we go. Be able to figure this out now. Well, that is a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. All right, what do we got here? Could be poster, master. Yeah, something in master. Hmm. Amateur and master what? Amateur and master. Don't know. We'll find out. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Six hundred. We have one M. Oh, just one. Well, I guess I was guessing wrong. With those to add to your winnings tonight. I was lucky to get that M. Five hundred. Crimes, right? We have one C. Oh, what's that last uh 
Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money okay, now. Let's try to figure this out. Here we go. Picture and poster frames. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and tell us the answer? Oh, I should have probably tried to get the P though, as far as uh, spinning again. But better to be safe. There we go. I think it could have. To be honest, it could have actually sure spelled amateur and master, but that wasn't. Should true, I, I guess. keep smiling for the camera? Contestant number two, go ahead and take the first spin. Oh, 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 oh. 700. We have one G. Good job. Keep that going. You'll be heading home a winner tonight. Eight hundred. Unfortunately, the yikes. Oh, is she gonna flip it? Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. Didn't get to find it. Oh, almost got it. Oh, I'm sorry. You can certainly buy a vowel. We have one. Six hundred. Do we have boy. any of those? No. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, doughboy. Second word. An H would be a good pick. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. Assuming that even if it's not. Oh, wait, it can't be dope. Well, let's find out. Uh oh. Wild card? Yeah. It's gonna be H. Wild card. It's an H. We have there one we H. I, I guess wow. we go ahead and take that one. one. Just a quick reminder now, you have Blank a wild and card, doughboy? and you can use oh. it if you'd like. I'm not sure what that first one would be. So let's grab if the If you'd o. like to buy a vowel, do we have any of oh, those? Oh, what? No. Can't be Doughboy. <laughs> so, oh, there would have been two right there. Are we going to make it? You hit big with $3,500. We have one P. Nice. Oh, and we it all out at once now. You've certainly got the money. We have one. Oh, it's I. an A, I guess, right there. Daughter. Okay. Like, a wife and daughter, right? Probably. Six hundred. Will we get wife any help? Oh, let's see if we can get shot at. Ouch. Bankrupt is... I guess I could have just solved it, but let's see here. Oh, it's a little risky. We, we don't, still don't know if it's actually white or not. White or not. It's most white. 700. Um, we have one that. team. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Don't forget you have that wild card. Would you like to uh, use it? Let's, let's just try it. Contestant number one. Go ahead. Yeah, it's gotta be it. There we go. I, it's time for the prize round. <laughs> Contestant number three. Uh, go ahead and take the first spin. Oh, that's a huge puzzle. So whoever wins this round is going to come up big right now. 900. We have one W. Something, okay, that's probably the word with. Don't go and spend all that at once now. Sure, you can buy a vowel. Yes, we have some A's.
like to buy a vowel, yes, we have some E's. Oh, that helps me. Seven hundred. Yes, we have some. I guess you'll be paying for this. Six hundred. Do we have any All of those? Oh, huh? well, that's good. I might have picked that. Probably not. Eventually. Oh, no. Get out of there! That's too bad. Next. Six hundred. We have one G. I guess you'll be paying for dinner. Five hundred. Yes, we have some teas. Great job. Garlic. Garlic butter. With garlic butter. And... Oh, it's too close. Barely. All right. Ouch. Bankrupt is always it's a prize a puzzle anyway, so I don't really have to. Sure, you can buy a vowel. Garlic have butter one. and. Oh. Yes, we have some S's. Scallops. Okay. That's a fair bit of cash you picked up. That is scallops. 650. Yes, we have some R's. Great, Josh. That's quite a bit of cash. Contestant number three. Go ahead and solve. Oh, that might not be it. I don't think bay is the right, would be the right word. That doesn't make any sense, right? Oh, what? I don't need fish, so I have no idea what bay scouts are. Look at that, now she's got some, over twice as much as me. You just, why not kick back and roll? It's time to start another talk. I gotta get this. to solve contestant number three what did I do wrong just I one think little it's time to start this round the category is food and drink now she's got way Hopefully he on the five here goes thousand. one last spin this one we have one s not bad you've got contestant what? number three your chance to solve food and drink we have one r that's a fair bit of contestant number one your chance to wow not a single one on the board i'm sorry Unfortunately, the okay. I can get two letters here. I stand a chance. Let's go. T. We have one T. Just 
That's a lot of contestant number one. Would you like to? Still need a few more letters. Yes, we have some N. Oh, that's the one. I guess you'll be paying for contestant number two. Would you like to solve? No, we don't seem to have any of those. Yes, we have some L's. Okay, there we go. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. There, yeah. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. Well, let's take a chance and hope that we... they don't solve it. Do we have any of those? Okay. No, I'm sorry. Good, good. We could get two letters. We have wow, not shot. a single one on the board. Might not be I'm sorry. One K. Good job. Keep that going. You'll be heading home a winner tonight. Contestant number one. Would you like to solve? Skillet dinner? I'm not gonna get enough though. That's just too easy though. Oh man, see? Look at that. Twelve hundred. So one more. Wow, letter. that is incredible. Oh. And now the winner will follow me for the bonus round. Would you follow me over here, please? Food and drink. We can give you the letters R, S, T, L, N, and E. So let's see what shows up. Would you please choose? Just a few moments to solve, so go quickly. Eat brisket. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Joining us here, here, this is our one. Are you ready to solve contestant Personal. number three? Uh, Are we ready for another toss up round? Our contestants are so eager to play. One, if, uh, I shouldn't keep them waiting. Right. So let's get going. Let's get this that round I thought started. I spelled the right, category is probably just one letter place. off. Or contestant number one. Which Go ahead and take the first while. spin. We're just quickly going through and uh, goof up. Seven hundred. Place. 
We have one S. Just one. Let's put it there. Oh, here we go. Oh, we had the wild card last wild time, too. Card. What a waste. Yes, we have some R's. Oh, good. Go ahead and pick up that wild card. River? I just want to remind you that you have a river side. Use your wild card. Riverside. There was no S's in there. We have one G. That's a fair bit of cash. Don't forget you have that wild card. Would you like to use it? So it's not river. Returning. Right? Or not. I don't know. You can certainly buy a... Yes, we have some I. Can't be returning. I'm really getting all mixed up today. Get out of there! That's about as pink. Well, I'll get another shot probably. There's not too many good letters left over. Mm. Wow, twenty-five hundred dollars. We have one T. Well, that is a healthy amount. Seven hundred. Wow, not a single. Nine hundred. We have one H. Don't go spend that H. Huh? If you'd like to buy a vowel, yes, we have some E's. Hmm. Oh. Recurring. No, recurring have two R's. Oh, have we got it? Will we get any help? Buy a vowel. I'm sorry, there are oh. none on the board. We got a slim chance here. Someone is lucky today. We could have uh, another uh, one million dollar winner soon. Wow, not well, a single tried to pick a one w, on the board. I'm sorry. Five hundred you get, right? Home repairing 
Okay. We have one M. That's a fair bit of cash. Is that right? Back. No, it's not. No. It's not. <laughs> if you'd like to buy a... Yes, we have some O's. Certainly, but we have one. Save zone. Nine hundred. We have some D's. I guess that. Okay. Don't go and spend all that at once now. Sounding. Oops. Okay, uh, bad here. That was kind of a mistake. Oh no! You got to be kidding. Ouch! Bankrupt. Three bankrupts. It looks like you're ready to solve contestant number two. I press spin on accident. Should I keep smiling for the camera? No. Wow. Contestant number two, why don't you go ahead and take the first spin? Oh, 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 oh. You hit big with $3,500. Yes, we have no small amount of... There's three of Are we going to make it? Eight hundred. We have that was one. quite a game, huh? Don't go and spend all that the Blazers money. were in control for most, sure, for a lot of the game. We have one eye. Lakers came back in the fourth, like early in the fourth, and took a like a. Didn't they have like a six-point lead for a little bit for a few minutes? And it seemed like oh, oh you know, Blazers' chances of getting slim here. Six hundred. Yes, we have some W. That's a lot of money you won there. Yeah, Lillard. You'd like to buy a value? We That's have one I'm A. Get, I'm not even going to get a shot at this. This puzzle. I've been playing really bad. Well, not like bad, bad, but just a combination of luck and uh, yes, we have some H's. screwing up. <laughs> Little stupid well, that is a healthy amount to add to your winning Yeah, score. yeah. Are they going to have a... I guess that would depend if uh, Zach Collins plays or not. Though I was really Close. liking, especially in the uh, first quarter, that wow, combination of Nurkic and Whiteside. Just try to keep positive Playing with Carmelo, now. Lillard, and McCollum. Contestant number yeah, three, and did you see I got, the, I got the magic on a, on a bet? Wait. What it's worth? Okay, I got a shot at this, huh? Blank, what it's worth. Pay what it's worth? Is that right? Does that sound right? Let's, Are let's you ready to solve, contestant number one? Oh, shoot. What is this? Uh, it's not pay. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, how about not what it's worth? No. Oh yeah, they got a deep, a pretty deep team, and that's one other. That's one of the things that makes me like particular teams in this kind of playoff is the deeper teams, just in case down the road injuries or. Okay, let's figure out what or or a player test positive. Blank what it's worth. Um, get what it's no. Okay, can't. Man, I shouldn't have tried to solve this so soon. Ten seconds. Contestant ah, number two, it's your <laughs> chance. This is probably something really simple. Well, Houston will eventually get Westbrook back, but uh, they're looking Five. really good. Um, Eric Gordon. 
I'm sorry. Is uh, moving around better than I've ever seen him even when he was like a rookie. So Eric Gordon's gonna be a big, you know, With even if free play, he can step you up, especially if uh, sure, you Westbrook and Harden are yes, off the floor, some or one of them's injured. Like with Westbrook, I think he's not been playing. I haven't been watching all the games, but I've been seeing about contestant number three. A little bit Go of ahead. most of the games or so. All four, what is it? Oh man, man, that, see, I'm just really goofing up tonight. That we have should a prize have been an easy now. one. The winner will be picking up. Contestant number three, ever. you're up Never first, so this. take a spin. Oh, the uh, the Rockets. Well, the Rockets would have to uh, play Ouch. Portland or Bankrupt the Lakers, so I don't see them beating one. either of those teams. They could conceivably beat the Lakers, but I don't think they would beat Portland. I think Portland's a lot better than them. Especially if they're at full, Portland's at full strength. Even if Houston is at full strength, they can't compete with Portland at full strength. 500. Let's see, movie title. Let's we go have with one S. S. But the, uh, the heat looked pretty I good. The magic dinner. didn't look too bad, you know? So I hope that they uh, could somehow get a first round upset. That would be super cool. You've certainly got. We have one season. Yeah, totally. And the, the Clippers kind of were disappointing tonight. I saw the end of the game. I went out to run and then had to run an errand, so I didn't get to uh, watch much as much of it as I. Well, actually, that was the game that I wanted to see a little bit more of, and I guess for good reason because uh, I didn't get to see the it's first three quarters. Play. But I guess you Dallas really play. outplayed them. So take another spin. What the score looked like, at least, you know. We have one end. So, and That's it was a pretty lot of fairly high scoring game. So, I don't think uh, LA was playing horrible. Movie. What could this be? What could that second word right there be? Let's go for another constant. Lakers, man, they have so much that could go wrong. They got a good team, but they're missing players. They're too highly dependent on uh, their best players. Yes, we have some R. And if one of them goes down, it's over. You know? Great job. That's quite a bit of well, cash I mean, in your pocket. Even a small injury where they have one of those guys miss has to miss two games, that's too much. They'll have to go, they would have to play hurt on a small injury. Uh, let's see. Nothing's really clicking today with the puzzle solving. This is probably going to be my, my worst solving of all time here. No, I haven't been keeping up with baseball except for I'm an A's fan. And I, I, I checked and I didn't realize how many games had been played. And the A's were like far and away in first place. But then I checked a few days later and it seems to be kind of evening out a little. But the A's are still doing good so I'm happy about that. And I'm glad that the uh, Astros aren't doing it. It's so close. But it, it's, it looks Do like a weird season. No. I'm I didn't not. see it. Well, I saw like a, a replay. But not like I didn't really get to see much in depth of what it was it's all about. Too much. It was a uh, uh, Loriano, right? That, he's a. I think Do he's one of the. any of those? I think this season he's I'm been sorry. one of the A's best players too. The center, a really fast center fielder with a big arm. He had something to do with the fight, though, I guess. Not to do with but yeah, the Astros deserve to get in. I'm gonna get a loser turn. Oh. Ooh, I'm sorry. That was an unlucky spin. So I hope the uh, A's can get to the playoffs and. I don't think I'll be watching any baseball before that, though, you know? Especially Ouch. with uh, basketball Bank being back on. And since it's only it's only been back on so recently, and it was off for a while, it's hard not to want to watch it, you know? Especially now that it's the, the first round of the playoffs is always pretty entertaining. Second Will round's even better. Help on this? It seems we're out of luck. And I guess, uh, yeah, the semifinals is over there. 
the second round is probably my favorite. There's still a chance of the team advancing further than they should usually. Except, especially this season or this bubble playoffs. Yes, we have some teams. Okay, we got something there. That's a lot of money you want. The title. Doctor Strange, right? Yeah, okay, let's just, uh... Wait, is there any double letters that I need to pick? No, okay. So. Contestant number one, go ahead. Yeah, I don't see the Bucks going far either. I think it's, uh, gonna lead up to Giannis wanting to go somewhere else so he can win, and that'll be the major, uh, storyline that'll, you know, you know, increase... The ratings of the, the silly shows where they just yammer and yammer back and forth about their sports cruise, opinions, you know? Because that's where you know, those morning going. shows with the, uh, the, the, I guess, the talking heads. Back and relax on a cruise in the People that have never Enjoy played sports, though, they, I guess they do. Beaches, or check out the former players on the talk ship. a lot, too. If but. you're the more active type, snorkeling <laughs> and scuba diving are also a great way to relax. It's it would be, uh, yeah, yeah, the ESPN shows and the Let's start a toss FS1 round shows. $3,000. The category is Around the House. I do like that show called Around the Horn. Where they, like, have points, a point system. The guy, Woody Page, is always really funny. Answer. Uh, it looks like oh, you're shoot, I don't know if I have this or not. Contestant number one. Small. Small. Which, which show? Oh, oh, the Around the Horn. Small. Something Lantern. Oh man, this is gonna be another one that'll look so easy after afterwards. like you're ready to solve contestant number three they have a uh, small ribbed lantern ribbed i think it's time to start this really? round ribbed the category no wonder i didn't get it and after they have that show on uh, youtube you can yeah that show and let me give the wheel the other one decent one is part of the interruption with the, the two older guys that yammer back and forth sometimes wilbon uh, he'll shout too much, and then I'll have to turn it down or turn it off. <laughs> yes, we have some S's. But for the most part, it's a pretty good show. That's a fair bit of cash you picked up. Contestant number three, your chance to solve. Before and after. What's the score now? Oh, I guess I'm in the lead somehow. We have one N. Yeah, I've been here. Oh, well, I know a lot of people in California. Um, Contestant number one. They've been saying the same. They keep saying. This area oh, wait, okay. of town where I used to live is supposed to be all on fire. Number two. But even up here in Reno, uh, there was smoky Contestant sky from what I could tell. I don't think it was clouds because uh, we had that like blood rut. Blood I'm sorry, red there sun are none on the through. board. Yeah. It's pretty cool looking, actually. I still went out for a run, but I did kind of. I think I noticed a little, a little bit of smoke. Yes, we have some R's. Got you. Don't go and spend all that at once now. Oh, that sucks. The contestant power. number one, would you like to solve? Oh, to keep from power lines being possibly making fires or causing fires. Do we have any of those? No. I'm sorry. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone out for a run, but I needed to. 
We have one. Why? I went out for That's a lot of money. Monday one night, I went out for like a 10 p Contestant it was number like 10 three, your chance to solve. And I ran till and worked out too before that and after the run. So it was a huge workout day, but I did most of it super late at night. Oh. We have one. Late for me. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Anyway, so I had to take the next day off from running, so I had to go running today. I didn't want to take two days off in a row. Serenity? No. no. Hmm. Don't got this one yet. Yes. I lived in a Sacramento for about a year, or a little less than a year. And there were days that they tell you, not advise you not to go outside because the air quality just wasn't that good. But that was like a normal thing. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we've had also. Oh wait, let's see. Yes, we have some L. Clearance, security clearance. Don't go and spend all that at once now. It was raining Contestant here a few times, one. too. Would you like to solve? And on some of those days, I would go out while it was, you know, a little wet, you know, just to get a little bit different kind of thing going or run after it was a little bit um, softer. Is that right? Okay. I like running after it's rain just to, or, yeah, I like running after it's wow, rain just a little incredible. bit to make the, uh, How did you come up with that? the path a little bit nicer, you know? Softer the better when you're doing a lot of miles per year and you're going year after year I think we're after ready year. To start the bonus you might round. as well do Let's the majority on something that's less impact, of course. You know, don't do it. A lot of people do 100%, almost 100% on concrete. Uh, there's, Let's go over here now. I think there's a lot of reasons In the for kitchen. what's going on with the weather. We can give now, you the letters this R, year. S, T, L, N, and E. It's been a little bit so let's see worse, shows up. you know, in certain areas of the world. The fires. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pick We're three more consonants the and a vowel. Still in the hurricane season, I think. Oh, what do we got here? In the kitchen. Mo uh, is it? No, not mother. Let me show you. Which letter should we pick? Let's pick M. It could be popcorn. Popcorn popper. Is that going to be what it is? Wow, you made that look easy. <laughs> That's going to be... I'm going to have to clip that one out and highlight it. Wow, you won the bonus round. And the pretty, is, I don't know. Well, that was a pretty good happy guess, with I this one. I mean, it was definitely a good guess, but I don't know if it was highlight worthy or not. Like, maybe most... Maybe a lot of people could have figured that out. But, if I wasn't, like, you know, I, I picked the M, then I was paying attention, or I was asking myself, should I pick the letter P? The letter P seemed like a, a letter that could probably be in those words. But then I started putting P's in the words, and I was like, oh, there, yeah, that it could be popcorn maker, popcorn popper. Yeah, we thought... A lot of rain up here too. I, I kind of like it, and it's been it's staying hot too around the 80s or 90s while it's on the days that it's raining. And it hasn't kept me from doing less, or it's not making me do less. You know how sometimes the rain will do that. Definitely the winter. Are you ready? That'll happen here. Looks like a nice crowd tonight, doesn't it? How are you doing today? Thank you for joining us. It says okay, here, well, around. it doesn't say okay, much. Just why don't you tell us about yourself? Get ready for the toss-up. We could do this again. The timing works for the after the uh, the late game for doing this. Uh, what's it this? looks like you're ready to solve contestant number Place. one. Bookstore? I, okay, this is. I don't know if this is right, but I'll give it a go. Oh, it's wrong. 
Contestant number three. Summer. Go ahead and solve. Summer, summer, summer. Though I do like comic book stories. Are been. we ready for another toss-up round? The amount I don't know is why that didn't pop into my head. And the category is event. I used to live near a cool comic book store back when I was where I used to live. I do like the transition though when it gets a little cooler because dealing with just a too much what do we got here? Tournament. Contestant number one, tournament? please solve. I guess I would prefer it um, to be summer for nine for ten months out of the year, you know, spring, summer, late fall kind of uh, weather. Why is it? And then a couple cooler months would be okay, but not just sometimes no the, uh, the winter. Hanging around here. You know, once in a while you Let's get one of those winters that's a little too cold, a little too round. snowy, and yeah, yeah, Category it does uh, snow. Same name. Here, except for last, this last number one, winter, why don't you go ahead there's like almost no snow. There's a little bit, but nothing to like, you know, uh, make any kind of uh, difference. There's hardly any snow, which I kind of enjoy. Oh, 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 oh. Since I'm on foot right. all the time. Wow, not a single or, you know, one on the board. Riding a I'm skateboard, sorry. you can't ride when it's wet or snowy. Or I tend to go to the uh, Walking a lot more. Pride. No, we don't seem to have any of those. But if it was one of the, if I knew it was going to be one of those long winters, it'd be nice to know ahead of time so you could travel, go somewhere for a little bit where it's warmer for like a month, and then kind of not have seven hundred, or even the whole winter. We have one. Team. Do the endless summer. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. If you'd like to buy a value, we have one yeah, so, yeah, surfers are always doing the endless summer. Professional surfers, they have to do the endless summer if that's their job. You know. They go to wherever the, the waves are still. I guess they could surf in the cold winter and there's the storms where you, you, know, you want to surf in those. If you're a pro surfer, you want to surf wow, in the I'm big winter, winter waves. To keep positive thoughts Man, now. that's cold, even with the wetsuits. You know. Those wetsuits, man, must work so amazing. You're cold for just a few minutes. It sucks really bad for a few minutes, but then it's like, okay, this is all right. 6.50. Oh, I'll do um, indoor workouts, pass. but there hasn't been any days in a Great while job. where I haven't That's been able to get out. Unless I'm like coming up with an excuse, sure, you can buy a vowel. I have to we go have out. One a. But when I do come up with little excuses, I end up feeling bad about it and then making up for it and doing more. So it's all good, I guess. You know? And sometimes I'll the days that I choose not to go. Run, I go close. do a huge workout in here inside or something, this time. and then still end up running afterwards. So. So I could end up doing both, and that happens quite often, especially lately. I can definitely get full body um, five, six days a week and run six days a week. The running's been, except well, that is I've had two days off of running your week, but I probably needed it. If you'd like to buy a value, yes, we well, have One of the some times holes. was just because, I think it was because of the weather. Oh, no, no, not the weather. That was part of it, but I was really behind in sleep. Been up. It's Sunday. Taking that day off. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Sunday's all. Usually. Five fifty. Need to make up at, uh, for sleep the we next day after Sunday. W. I guess you'll be paying for dinner. A lot of times I'll do one of those mystery science theater edits, um, or riff tracks edits, uh, Friday and Saturday. And then, so the Saturday, often I'll be up all night. Five fifty. And then have to go to Will we get any the book sale that I go to on Sunday it morning. we're out of luck. I looked at the blood red sun today, but there wasn't much uh, there wasn't much sun rays coming through. But it was cool to watch it still. And there's probably something, you know, there's probably. You know, Unfortunately, there are none light, on the board. You know, just sorry. very filtered, but it looked cool. Something history, world history, blank and world history. Spin. Uh, but I've probably.
probably done a little less sun gazing the last week. Still a good amount, but before that, it was pretty consistently about four or five hours a week or so of total time sun gazing. Yes, we have some arms. Black in world history. That well, that is a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. You still doing a lot of sun gazing? I'm, I'm guessing that you do still. We're always talking about it, it seems. For good reason. Because sun gazing is the best, one of the best things you can be doing. But you know, you're, you're one of the only ones who ever brings it up. Six hundred. Because not too many people, not too many other people out there actually sun gaze. Yes, we have some oh, okay. elves. Help me with that first word there. So I'm guessing you. That's a lot of fun. You probably you sun gaze regularly. Oh, what's that first word? Yes, we have some D. Oh, good, that'll help. Medieval. That's a fair bit of cash you picked up. Yeah, how do you not? I don't want to spell You've medieval. Certainly got the yes, we have. Because I'm, I'm spelled something wrong earlier, <laughs> so I'm not going to do it again. Okay, that should take care of it. Is there any other consonants worth picking? No. Okay, so let's just solve it. If you think you know the answer, please go ahead. That's how you spell it, right? Yeah. Oh, was it medical? See? Contestant number two, it's oh your chance. Oh my gosh. It was medical. That didn't even look right. I've just been so off on this To be game. honest, I wasn't sure how you were going to solve this. It's the lack one. of sun gazing recently. I usually... We don't want to keep our contestants seems to activate waiting. the brain. There's a lot of times where I'll be playing... Two, uh, go ahead and take when I first. play this, I'd come in recently and I'd finish it. Sun gazing, because, you know, it's usually around 8 o'clock. Are we going to hit it? Find me almost all the way down here. Ouch. Bankrupt is always Except it's, a uh, one. Not staying up is quite as late now, day to day, so... And then we got that stupid daylight savings coming in the next uh, two months or so. I think somebody yes, who stays up late, so like, like me, I don't like the daylight savings. Or at least the first one, I guess. I know you must be excited to go hopping. Actually, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Still to me, have some of the show left. The only way it makes a difference to me is if when like to buy the sun doesn't stay out eat. later. That's all. Feels like I'm losing for sun. Oh, fasting. What bowel no, would you well, like? just uh, yes, skipping breakfast and lunch days. every day, pretty much. I'll usually eat. Let's see. So I've been spending spending a lot of energy just just at night. You know, I wake up around eleven or noon. Cause I stay up till about six or seven in the morning. I wake up at around eleven or noon, and then um, don't yes, eat till about nine or. I guess you'll Maybe be paying for dinner tonight. And then I'll not eat you can very certainly much. Buy a vowel. We have one. Oh. And when I do eat first, and then have a little something a little later. Just because my stomach can't handle yes, a lot of food at one time. Eye. So it's more like I'm doing more of an intermittent kind of thing with a... Uh, probably be like 20 and 4. Or 21 and 3. Like 20 hours of fasting and a three-hour window of eating. Are we yeah, going to make it? You hit big with $3,500. Seven? Yes, we have some tea. Oh, oh, seven at night. You picked up some cash with that. Happened to have one end. time out the uh, running and the sun That's gazing. That's a lot of money you won there. And often do running, sun gazing, running, or running and then sun gazing. And it works out. It seems to always work out really well. Almost. 
goes there. You yeah, hit it does. Oh, this, with oh, that first one where the sun would normally be out to about yes, seven, we have but now it's essence. only out to like six something because of the daylight savings. Roasted. A little bit of money should help you along. Now. Roasted garlic. So you you've been running a lot too. Okay, I'm glad like to hear you that. Won't be going home with that today. I kind of uh, center all of my activity as far as exercise completely around uh, running. I'm sure you already figured that out. Uh, the other stuff really is just like inferior, you know, to what you get out of running. And there's it's always a constant, you know. You never you can never there's never an end to getting better at running. Yes, we have some seeds. Oh, we've got three of them. Thick roasted garlic. Thick. Well, that's a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. Thick and chunky salsa. Okay. Should I try to go for another couple of others? I know what the puzzle is, but yeah, let's do it. Are we going to hit it? You hit big with $3,500. Around town? Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm really lucky I have a, uh, a lake almost basically across the street. It's a, like a, a perfect mile lap to run around. It's like a little over 0.9 of a mile, so... Oh, wait. Yes, we have some okay. H's. Is that the right one to pick? No small amount of cash there to help you out. Solve it. Why don't you go ahead and tell us the answer? Oops, the wrong letter. <laughs> See, I think I sometimes do that when I'm doing this. And then end up solving it wrong. So I gotta go back and double check, make sure I didn't goof up. And I did that earlier at least once. Wow. We have a prize round now. Winner will be picking I run up on a concrete extra today. The category uh, is events. Once a month or so, but Contestant I will be number three, hopefully getting go ahead back and to the track spin. workouts at like the high school track and much more specific types of workouts. I was like really working on my speed. I got about probably 15, probably yes, at least a couple of dozen. No, I mean somewhere between 15 and 20 workouts at the track before I stopped and just started doing most what everything would you at like? the uh, leg yes, we have some ease. Um, yes and no. It's definitely a lot, you know, both, both of those places, Reno and Vegas, are a lot cheaper to live than just about anywhere what in California. What would you like? We have one you. But, uh... Yeah, I guess um, I have. I don't have much to complain about, so I like it. It really, I guess, as far as the city itself. Five hundred. Yeah, no, you know, you definitely yes, we have can some do essence. a lot worse. You know, and so it's probably one of the better places to live be because of the price. For tonight. I think the prices might even be moving up. You know, actually, I don't know how that is now with everything that's going on <coughs> going on in the world. All sorts of people being evicted and Will we or get losing their uh, leases, right? Seems we're out of luck. Are people losing their leases? Let's see, supper. We're in for a very... But some interesting months up there. Supper. Wow, not oh. a single one on the board. Oh. I'm sorry. Six fifty. Unfortunately, that's not surfer. Looks like I got an easy win, though. Will we get any help on this? It seems we're out of luck. 
You know, it's it's uh, tomorrow's Incredible. slate of games that I'm more interested in compared to today's one. games. You know, they got the four games today and the four games tomorrow, and they kind of just rotate every other day. I'm more interested in these the four games tomorrow for the most part. The one versus eights and the... Uh, Oh, I didn't even pick a letter. Time. I was too busy talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Other than that uh, uh, bonus round, six hundred played pretty bad tonight. Yes, we have some ends. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Contestant number two, go ahead. Warm summer evenings. Oh no, is that a prize puzzle? Probably is. Why not kick back and roll? It's time for a toss-up round for three thousand oh, dollars. might beat me. The category is in the kitchen. <laughs> Are you ready? To oh, ah, number three. at least it was her. But I could have probably used it. It looks like you're ready to solve oh. contestant number two. I think it's time to start this round. The they don't let you buzz in. Classic. I've never buzzed in after the first person misspelled anything. I'll give the wheel one last spin. It's actually pretty lame because now that person has more than me. Totally not fair. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. Her name is Seth? I think they mixed up the names. We have one A. Oh, downtown? Ugh. Downtown is disgusting. Contestant number three, um, would you like to you know, solve? In, in, on another way of thinking about it, it's definitely fun, you know, if you're if you're looking to get up to no good or something. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a fun place to skate. I like skating. Whenever I have to go downtown, I usually skate um, down there, and so I have to skate through there, and it's a fun area to uh, there are none on, on the board. It's very fun to skate around yes, and a lot of big people. huge sidewalks and stuff like that. that that's where the uh, the majority of the two, uh, casinos like are. Yeah, that's how I get around from I, I would skate more if I didn't run so much Not because You've got I feel that the skating now. kind of uh, Contestant number three, your chance uh, to solve. Doesn't help with the imbalance of things. I want to keep everything balanced for running. Play so skate three or Tony. Tony, oh yeah, totally. We have one. I worked at a uh, a video We've game store back now. when Tony Hawk One and Tony Hawk Two one. Would you like to were really solve? popular, and when they first came out. Oh, let's see what we got here. The facts of life. Okay, we got this one. And yeah, those games you could just sit there and play for hours, and people would come in and do that. Kid uh, parents would leave their kids um, at the store, and they'd just sit there and play Tony. A lot of them playing Tony Hawk just for like an hour or two. We, would, we wouldn't to care. To be honest, actually, I wasn't sure there. how That's you were going to solve this. Kind of the theme one. of the store. Oh, I barely. Oh, crazy. Theme of the store was that you could Our come in and try the game before you buy the game. Try it before you buy it. You know. And so, people would take that way too far, and eventually rules had to be set. But for a long time, Let's you could just come in now. there and say, "Can I try? Thing. Can I try this game?" I think you and know we'd the get a copy of the game. If, most of the time, there would be an open copy or used Let's copy. Kind of help you Plug it in and person sit there and Could we have play games and we know that they're just vowel. sitting gonna they weren't gonna buy it or anything but nothing we could really do you know oh yeah yeah um that was probably like the late 90s or around that time should we go with the letter p again the letter p gave me some good luck last time popcorn popper was it yeah <laughs> Wow, you made that look easy. 
Only a limited time, so good luck and solve. Oh, remaining. I know what it is. <laughs> oh, you got I swear I did not look at that. Of course, you guys wouldn't be able to, to see if I did or not. But I was looking straight at the puzzle the whole time. Imagine a sports team. There are sports teams. And there's a uh, minor league baseball team here. And then there's a uh, UNR. Okay, I probably quit. That's what happened now. University of Reno, Nevada. So it's basically the I guess the University of Nevada is what it's more known as, I guess. But uh, they have, since they're Division One, and plus they always have a uh, well, not always, but they've they've been known to have once in a while good, really good basketball teams. That kind of makes it. Oh, and there used to be, and there probably still is. The semi-pro basketball team up here, the Reno Bighorns. The Reno. There's not too many athletic people up here. I don't know if it has to do with the elevation or whatnot, or the fact that everybody seems to be a chain smoker. You know, like people who smoke cigarettes up here, like on a percentage-wise, way more than the average city. That I, you know, it just seems like part of the uh, the culture up here is smoking cigarettes but not too many I don't know I haven't met too many people that have intrigued me as far as getting to want to know people or hang out with anybody especially with the changes I've made if I was back in the but if I was back in most places in California I probably would have found especially where I lived in Santa Cruz I probably would have found people that I'd want you know to hang out with or want to uh, I don't know here it's just Everyone's just kind of not boring. We're kind of boring. Not the smartest people up here either. It just seems to be what I've noticed over. It's been about three years, so the fact that yeah, I haven't really come across anybody that's intrigued me to want to go out and meet anybody. Um, kind of prepared myself for this year though because. We're not supposed to go out and socialize and stuff. And yeah, I can I can accept that. I can be fine with that, you know, for the most part. Um, doing stuff outdoors with people, that's better anyways. All the times that people have come up here has been um, going to casinos or inside, you know, inside the casinos, which I'm kind of, at this point, tired of. A casino, to me, doesn't really look all that, you know, great as it used to. You could understand that. You live in a place. It's kind of like, I guess in, you know, in Santa Cruz, you could always appreciate the ocean, but for somebody who's never grew up or never lived by an ocean, uh, they would look at it a whole lot different, kind of like how a lot of people come to Vegas or Reno and see the, the, the bright lights and think it's really cool live at one of those places, it's easy to get tired of that, you know, it's all not that great, you know, after a while. Okay, so, let's see. Challenges. The challenge stuff, up to 4,000, up to 4,000 puzzles. I thought they'd have even more than that, right? You know? Time to eat. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Our buddy SB wasn't 
able to stop by. He might have had something to do, but next week, um, same time, same place. I I keep meaning to do another stream. I did get a new game recently. I'm not sure if I'll stream that one or not, but it's uh, I'm really into it because it's uh, like almost the perfect game. Like for me, it's my close to my perfect game. Like I give it like a nine out of ten, kind of, or or a little higher even. But it's the original Star Ocean, but it's been kind of re revamped, redone. I guess it, they redid it on the PSP at first, and this was the old Super Famicom. Star Ocean from the Super Nintendo days in the 90s, but now there's a PS4 version, and what's cool about it is they didn't change it too much to make, you know, they left the goodness of the game, you know, the, like the Final Fantasy VII remake, they changed too much, I, I, I'm okay with it, but I'd rather go back and play a remake of a game, you know, a redone game, and they leave it for the most part alone, I, I, I appreciate the visual, you know, improvements and whatnot, and the basic improvements that make the game, you know, when you got a, a game with a good story and a, you know, everything else, gameplay and everything, you don't need to change any of that, so I'm happy that I found something that kind of reminds me of that old feeling I used to get to play in a game like that, because you don't find stuff like that anymore, so I appreciate they took the time to remake it the right way, so maybe I'll stream that this weekend or something else. Probably not the wheel. We'll save just wheel for Wednesdays. Or whatever. But thanks for stopping by, man. I'll see you soon.